think yeah, we had a little agenda change. So uh, one of the speakers was uh, not able to come yeah. here, right? right? Yeah, but uh, it's a pleasure also to have you on board, right? Um, but introduce yourself, please. <laughs> uh, so good afternoon. I'm here instead of Otakar Cherba, who wasn't able to come. But um, I think that on the internet, uh, on the internet agenda, there is my name. So uh, some are, can be surprised, some not. Um, so I'm here to introduce you our data set, which is SPOI SDA for apps, points of interest. Uh, SDA for apps, it's a uh, name of project in which this uh, data set was made. Um, what is our data set? Uh, we collect uh, data from different sources, uh, points of interest, uh, important for tourism and traveling. Uh, we use uh, different uh, input different sources, uh, different contributors, uh, and these uh, input, are, input data are heterogeneous. Uh, we run uh, the data through some harmonization process uh, to have them in a um, common uh, data model. Uh, the resulting data model is based on standar uh, standards, semantic description, and uh, link data. Uh, we publish it on a ma map portal and uh, through Sparkle endpoint, uh, through Sparkle endpoint, and it's uh, provided uh, under open database license. Um, sources of data are the main uh, source is uh, OpenStreetMap. Uh, then we uh, get our data from from some other uh, sources uh, with open data. Uh, we also uh, have contribu contributors from um, local regions, some regions in Czech Republic, some in uh, Italy, uh, some cities, uh, open data from Prague. Uh, we are working on uh, data from Vienna now. Um, just uh, get back. Uh, now we are working uh, with data which are based only uh, on their coordinates. If their geolocation is, uh, if, if they are geolocated on coordinates, but uh, we are going to uh, uh, to work on uh, involving also uh, other geolocations or other types of geolocations as addresses and so. Uh, how the common data model looks like? Uh, so uh, we have seven classes in the data mod model uh, with several attributes. Uh, there are labels and descriptions, geometry, in geometry is uh, also is primary ge geometry and also secondary, uh, which means that if you have a point or a feature that can be uh, like described as point or geolocated as point or either as, uh, as area or so, uh, so it's, it's uh, in, the, in the secondary geometry attrib attribute. Then there is classification. Uh, the classification, actually there are three class classifications. Uh, one is down on the slide, and uh, it's the main one, it's the oblig obligatory one. It's uh, reused from, uh, from open navigation ways, classifications, and the other two classifications are based on uh, OpenStreetMap. Uh, some contact in information, because as I said, the uh, data set um, in the, data, in the data set are the tourist information, so the contact inf information are um, addresses or telephone number or so. Tourist information, uh, opening hours, uh, accessibility, internet access. And uh, what's important are links. Uh, the data are linked with uh, other uh, sources. There are links uh, to uh, Wikipedia, to some photos. Uh, there is also important link uh, to, to state within the feature lace. Uh, and there are also uh, two attributes, uh, see all, uh, not same as and uh, exact match, which are actually the same but different standards. And uh, they uh, link to, uh, to the same feature but from different, uh, different source. Um, and then metadata. Um, these attributes, uh, we use uh, either our own standards, or how to call it, 
uh, attributes, which are with the POI or POI uh, preface, uh, but also uh, we try to use uh, existing standards, uh, for example, GEOS or, or RDFS for labels. And uh, this, uh, this data model, we, um, we don't find it uh, like the, the uh, non-changeable, so it's flexible. And uh, we are willing to, um, to add um, attributes or change attributes according to uh, requests or according to data we will get. Uh, then there are uh, just uh, more to, uh, or sp specific about the, mod the model are two, uh, two features, airport and, uh, airport and food. And uh, for these two types of features, for each of these, there is one uh, specific attribute. So it, it, it uh, shows that there is flexibility of the, of the model. Uh, and what I uh, forget to mention, that the classification from VASE, so it's connected, uh, it, it's not like string, it's connected by URI, by a link to, to the vocabulary. Uh, identifier of the, identifiers of features are URIs. They were choose because they are, uh, from their definition, they are unique. Uh, and uh, you can see uh, down on the slide uh, an example. It, uh, it's combination of uh, country code, uh, acronym of category of, uh, the, of the feature of the POI, and uh, coordinates in order longitude, latitude. Uh, as I already said, uh, the data are linked uh, to some other uh, sources. So there is the first link with classification to uh, reused vocabulary. There are links to photos and pictures and uh, some, other, uh, some, some other features. Uh, the link to country is like uh, based on topological uh, rel rel relation. Uh, the SPOI data set fulfills the requirements of five-star rating system uh, for, uh, for linked open data. It's accessible through Sparkle and Point, uh, so uh, you can make your own query uh, to get the data you want, and it's licensed uh, by Open Database License. Uh, we provide them in, uh, or it's provided in structured data and machine read readable data, and um, the prime uh, non, non proprietary format. Uh, we provide them in RDF format, but it's also possible uh, to export them in some other uh, structured formats. Uh, it's identified by URI, so it's uh, the identifier for each uh, POI is unique, and uh, data, the data are linked with, uh, with other uh, sources or informations. Uh, because uh, we collect data from different uh, sources, uh, it's necessary to uh, make some harmonization before uh, implementation in, in, the, in the data set. Uh, so we trans transcript uh, data to structured. Uh, we prepared common RDF vocabularies and mappings, uh, filtering when necessary, uh, adding information like uh, those links to countries and uh, transformation and export to, to the RDF format. Uh, for the data harmonization, the technology which was used was uh, based on uh, XSLT templates, uh, which ran on a Saxon processor. Uh, just, uh, just the scheme of the harmonization example of the RDF code. Uh, this weekend, or on the beginning of this weekend, week, we uh, had more than 4,700,000 4, POIs. Uh, since next week, we will have uh, more than 6 million POIs. Uh, the coverage is uh, mostly in Europe, but we have also uh, data from Africa, South America, and so. And uh, the two more POIs, which I mentioned, will be next week. Uh, these are data from uh, some Asian countries and from US. Uh, these are uh, top 10 countries this week. Uh, in Germany, uh, there is more than 1 million POIs. 
uh, in all of these uh, top 10 countries is uh, more than 100,000 points. Um, just a quick comparison with uh, open points. Um, this was made on uh, in small areas, uh, small small areas uh, in, in different countries and uh, with different uh, features. And so you can see that, uh, that the points are not the same. Somewhere we have more, somewhere we have less. Uh, so, and this is an uh, example of the, or it's just the sparkle endpoint, uh, how we provide access to our data. So you can try it on the, on the languages down. Uh, you can make your own query and choose data based on attributes you, uh, you need or based on location and so. Um, it works. <laughs> and we also provide a map client to access our data, uh, which is based on HS layers. Uh, in Central Europe, we have specific uh, tiles for cycling and, and biking, and it's also connected with some other um, information informations like panoramia or open weather map. Uh, we also have a web page where are uh, also links to the Sparkle endpoint and, uh, and the map, uh, map client, uh, which you can find on the, on the languages here written. Uh, the web pages are in uh, several languages, but actually I'm not sure if they are in German, <laughs> but in, in, in English definitely. <laughs> And next steps, uh, so because uh, the project or, or, or the data, data set is uh, quite new and we worked on it since last year. Uh, so we are going to extend the, the information resources, optimi optimize data model and data storage uh, because the more data we have, the more um, some cartographic challenges occurs. Uh, also, we are going to work on context-based application. It means that if user um, open his open the map client and uh, needs mm, needs to find some um, or he is in some uh, it happens something like he's hungry or he's injured. So uh, not to uh, have to check all these layers like hospitals and public transport and so, so he will just check the one, one context um, I'm injured and it will uh, open all this necessarily or uh, helpful layers automatically. Uh, also thinking about advertising and so. Uh, what we think is quite innovative about our approach is that we use common data model for, uh, for the data set. So even if we have data from different sources, uh, we want to uh, be in the same data model, to have the same data model. We are also reusing existing standards, so we, uh, we try to use uh, yeah, existing standards. <laughs> uh, this uh, data are linked and uh, they are accessible th through Sparkle endpoint. Uh, just a list of promotion, where we, was this pre presentation promoted? and contributors of this project are West uh, Bohemian University and some other Czech uh, institutes and uh, Baltic Open Solutions Center. So thank you for attention. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Questions? Ah, oh, this one first. <laughs> Hi, um, there's probably lots of questions that I could think of. But um, I mean, some people were talking earlier about this problem that happens in lots of things, even in how you plug things into your computer, that there's lots of standards. So in your case, you've, there's, there's lots of data models that exist already, and also lots of databases of points of interest. So what people tend to do is, oh, well, we'll create another standard to try and solve the problem of, so it will be the one true one. But all you're left with is even, you know, lots of standards plus one. So um, my question is, sort of why didn't you, um, rather than create a new data model and a data new database, why didn't you try and improve one of the existing ones? Uh, you mean one of the existing, like, 
the same with the same approach we have or just yeah, so why not why not kind of so so if if there's problems that you've seen why not um improve a data data model and format or rather than try and start the points of interest from afresh why not add ones to an existing database so you're not starting from a blank canvas um actually it's because when uh, you have like this set so w when you start it yourself or with your team uh you know uh what to use or you you, you know what you want to use and if, if you're trying to improve someone else's uh, product it can have uh, some ways or some uh, details which you're not like um, common with or, or or so I would say um, and uh, the other thing is that uh, we actually try to use uh, standards which are already used so we try to uh, not to come with an anything or, or something new like really new but try to reuse existing and uh, make it as smooth or um, as nice like common as possible okay yeah cool i think there was another question here right thanks hi i'm ludwig um would it be possible to assign multimedia data to a point of interest such as an, an audio and picture on video and if yes what would I do have to do in order to get an assignment between a point of interest and a multimedia file, such as an audio file, for example? Um, I guess it should be possible, but actually the truth is that I'm not like that. I can't see quite a lot into the technical part of of this uh, data set. So um, maybe we can talk later and um, just give you some uh, contacts or so. Of course. Thank you. OK. Um, any other question? OK. Then uh, thank you. And uh, we come to our last presentation for today and this session.